Today's video is brought to you by nerdgears.com. Especially interesting for US customers, Nerdgears is an online shop for everything mining hardware. They offer great deals on new and refurbished GPUs, even pre-built PCs and all the accessories you need. Especially interesting for my audience, they also offer HP, Server PSU and breakout board bundles. Free shipping for US customers, several crypto payment options as well as PayPal. Nice, that's already it. Now let's get on with the video. Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we have the July farm update like we have on every first Tuesday of the month. Here we discuss all the machines and what is upcoming for the channel. First of all I have to state that I lied to you last month but not on purpose. I said that the Baikal Mini was already sold but after filming and recording the buyer stepped back so it's still here. Again I'd like to discuss it together with the Baikal Giant Plus because in terms of algorithms they are the same machine. X13 mining is still good after more than two years of these machines being out in the wild. So both together earn between two and three euro a day. Not bad for such old hardware. So the mini will probably stay for now since it's only 50 watts anyway. The Giant Plus draws around 430 watts on X13. So nothing I really worry about. The Black Miner F1 mini got a stand last week where I had to excuse myself with a shorter video. More on that later. But I do promise that a full costs and earnings update it will follow in July for you folks. Temperatures are great since building the stand. With the Z9 Mini today, I want to direct you to the one and only not your normal miner. He is currently testing solo mining with his Z9 Minis with calculations and reasoning why he is doing so and what he is expecting. That is decentralized mining in the true sense of the word, in my opinion far away from just looking at calculators. My respect to him for that experiment. So if you're interested like me, give him a sub to stay updated on the progress. I myself am boring, set and forgot on slash pool with 16 to 70k souls on max overclock with my little machine. So with the GPU rigs I want to share a little lesson in mining. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong at the worst possible timing for you. Mining is not a set once and forget forever game. I told you that June was killing me and for folks interested in private stuff I will share a bit in the end. But let's talk about the hardware. Weather in Europe is crazy. So we had summer in April, cold in May and now again we have heat waves interrupted by storm. So I had some power outages and strangely since then the mixed AMD rig is active up one card hanging itself up and after a while taking all the other cards with it yay i've already tried the obvious things change card slots risers or cables but nope it's still going crazy on me so it will soon land on the operating table as a whole maybe already the complete rebuild with the vega 56 which i wanted to do anyway let's see about that soon the other two rigs are working like charms and are more than stable the rx 580 rig is still in my office and yep it is getting warm, but I wanted to do some reorganizing downstairs before it moves to the other machines. But still, even with an office at the top floor, which gets pretty hot in the afternoon, no card is going beyond 70 C Celsius, with fans between 50 and 60%. So absolutely fine. The Octaminer it's similar, helping as exhaust for the whole room. The delta fans in the case are so strong that also the cars are averaging 60 C Celsius while mining ion on ion pool tech. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the AMD rigs are on Monero, as you probably know from the updates. So what's left? The L3 Plus will also get another update in July since I'm currently testing more efficient setups for summer. Trying to rather go for better hash to watt ratio than max hash rate like before. So for now I can tell you that right now I'm around 580 mega hash per second instead of my previous 630. As every month I'll show the daily Litecoin earnings on screen and this includes my two small moonlanders still chugging away as well. My PC, CPUs and Raspberry Pi are still on Uplexer. We saw difficulty and hash rate spikes in June, but both are not at their all-time high, so it's still time to accumulate more. 
So that's it with the machines, but since you folks knew him, I want to share some of the stuff which has made my June a screwed up month. I had to bury my oldest cat this month because the poor guy suffered a series of strokes. He's been with me for 18 years and I think you've seen him in one or two videos. The two ladies you also know from the channel are younger and thankfully healthy, but I have to be honest with you that animals are more important to me than humans, so that hit me hard. Besides that, I'm involved in three companies, one of them my own, several bands and I'm actually still studying or let's say I'm studying again since I never finished my degree. I'm not complaining at all, it's just that too much came together for me this month and in the midst of it my car broke down as well. Yay. So that is why we had a shorter video last week. I never want to miss an upload for you folks, so I wanted to tell you what has been going down. I am motivated for a July of video making and to tackle some projects which have been piling up this month. Thanks for listening to this small delve into my life. I'll normally like to keep it hardware related. That's already it. Looking forward to finally getting some more stuff done for the channel. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye. Thank <laughs> you.